What's up, Trey Crowder? Long time no skew. Listen, off top, fuck Donald Trump with a prickly pear. Alright? Can't stand that son of a bitch. Hope he dies in a tragic hairspray accident. But I'm starting to worry about how quickly people on the left are to dismiss him and his legion of misspelled sign toting fans. And look, y'all, I've been confused by it too. Because for literally my whole life, this dude has been the Quentin Tarantino of being a rich douche. He has truly revolutionized the form. So when I see poor voters come out in droves for this guy in places like my hometown, where the unemployment rate's been double digits for 20 years and you're considered a rich kid if your daddy carried the mail, it blows me away. And when the rest of liberal America is asked to explain it, they just go, well, they're a bunch of ignorant bigots, Trump's the king bigot, who wants kombucha? Well, it ain't that simple, Tristan. Take my hometown, for example. For decades, the center of the town's economy was a large clothing factory, and in the mid-90s after NAFTA, it made like a stoner at midnight and went south of the border, and we never recovered. I'm not trying to start a debate on the merits of free trade. What I'm saying is, when that melted candle-ass motherfucker stands up there and tells these people that he's going to bring their job back to this country and make Mexico lick his shriveled orange ball sack, it resonates with them. And you might be thinking, well, Bernie's anti-free trade, won't they support him? Well, uh, because, I mean, because they're a bunch of ignorant bigots and Trump's the king bigot. But the job thing's important, too. And look, they're wrong. Of course they're wrong. He's full of shit and a hypocrite. He's been having his line of tacky-ass ties made by Chinese seven-year-olds for years. But y'all, right-wingers are not about to start letting some trivial shit like facts get in the way of how they feel about stuff. That's kind of their whole thing. So the fact that he ain't gonna do nothing about it is irrelevant. And all I'm saying is we got a classic trap game on our hands, okay? So if you get complacent and sit your ass on the couch come November, then we're all gonna be getting what you deserve. So you need to run that burn under a cold tap and saddle back up, baby, because we ain't out the woods yet. A prickly pear.